I'm Randy Vance. This is a brand new boat from Stingray. This is the 173cc. Now Stingray is known for building nice performing runabouts, but since they went into the deck boat market, the outboard business has grown and people really want a center console and they're doing a great job of this one. I'm gonna show you why people want it when I walk you through it right now. Now Stingray is famous for their Z-plane hull. That gives the boat optimum performance on modest horsepower. In this case, we've got a 90 horsepower Yamaha, which is giving us an excellent hole shot and plenty of satisfying top speed. The boat's going to be ready for water sports, especially if you opt up for the tow pylon. Now one of the most noteworthy features on this boat is the beefy console. You wouldn't expect that in a 17-foot boat, but because of the way it's designed, it fits in beautifully and doesn't crowd the deck. That's because of Stingray's cab forward design that takes that foredeck as far forward as wide as possible. You still have wide walkways around it, plenty of room on the dash for large displays if you want them, or keep a smaller GPS, a VHF radio, and a stereo right up front where you need it. Now the 173 has a lot of standards on board, like this three-spoke stainless steel wheel that tilts. There's also hydraulic steering on board that's standard. I like the fact that you got two cup holders there with a grab rail right underneath it, and the plexiglass windshield can be removed to maximize headroom in your garage. Down below the wheel, you'll find a glove box with a lock, and you've also got a compartment to keep mobile phones in. On the port side is a double door that opens into the console below where this one is plumbed with a head. Now, one of the things that you'll notice about Stingray is that they fabricate almost all of their own parts in the factory. That's one of the reasons they're able to bring you such a quality boat at a great value. You've got a really generous leaning post right here, and one of the few options on board is this seat back. It stows right in the rod holders, or you can hide it away when you're fishing, and then you have an aft-facing seat. Aft of the leaning post, you've got a large casting deck, and there are two seats in it that fold up. The seat backs latch down so they won't blow up when you're trailering down the highway. In the aft casting deck, there's a storage compartment on the right, and on the port side, you've got the standard live well. There's one more live well that's an option on this boat, and it happens to be in the front of the console. Should you choose not to use that live well, it makes a great cooler. Now our test boat happens to be equipped with an additional cooler, an angle under the leaning post. Two more components that Stingray builds in the factory are the rod hangers on either gunnel. They make these out of fiberglass. You've got rod tubes that go forward, and they'll both carry seven-foot rods. Now it's easy to overlook some of the features that show this boat was well thought out. Take a look at the center drain here on the deck. If you notice, the gutters slant towards it, and the deck also slants this way, so all the water will drain out as you bring it in. If you're swimming, you get splashed over the front, or you're washing down the deck with the optional saltwater wash down after catching a fish. You'll also notice that the Gemlux rod holders and the cup holders drain to the cockpit, then it goes overboard, not to the bilge. Now our test boat is equipped with these seat cushions on the forward casting deck. I like that feature, it's a great addition to the boat. Underneath the casting deck you've got dry storage. The combing pads are standard and the combing pads in the main cockpit are standard as well. Now the grab rails are powder coated, one of the few things not built in the factory, but they're nicely positioned for comfortable grip, safety and good looks. Another good option you should consider on the 173 is the trolling motor hookup and the puck for mounting it. So what you get from the 173 is great engineering. You've got nicely scuppered deck. All of the rod holders, as I mentioned, drain to the deck and overboard. It's designed like a saltwater boat should be designed. I'm Randy Vance on Stingray's 173 CC.